Let's go. Look how he ate it too. Both troubles, guys. That first, but uh, both fish eat this bait one when it comes to a crankbait. When they baby on the crank, trying to go for another badger. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're out for some big ends, man. They're definitely in here. I know they're here. We're going to keep grinding and we're going to keep catching, man. Alrighty, guys. So, welcome to the channel, man. This is Candle Man Fishing. And today, guys, we're going to be doing some fishing, man. We're going to start out with a little, uh, Bluegill, pretty much a Academy's brand, H2O Express, if you guys have not ever ever heard of those. Go to your local Academy, man, I think they're like five or six bucks, they're cheap, but they work, man. I promise you they're small, and it's just perfect. The only thing I would suggest is that you switch out the hooks, get a little bit more sharper hooks. Those are not the very best, um, definitely, but you'll be seeing if we can't catch some fish on that. We'll be fishing this on the Zebco Splash today, see if we can't catch a fish on this guy right there. And then if that don't work, we're going to switch some things up and uh, see what works, man. So with that being said, hope you guys liked today's video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that uh, subscribe button and get in the uh, comment section below. Let me, guys, let me know if you're liking the content and what you want to see um, on the channel for the more uh, videos. With that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. So we swapped up rods. Little. This is what we got right here, a little H2O Express, a little scrum bait right here. Let's see, to keep from, uh, dang, this thing is just right now. But to keep from uh, untying my my secret rig, because I might try that another the pond. Oh, got him. Got him. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, no, came on. Drag was not tight. Oh, we still got him. We still got him. Come on, we still got him. You definitely had to go for this, bro. First cast. First cast. Buddy went for it. Let's go. Fish of today, man. Let's freaking go. Let's get him back. Let him go, man. Thanks, buddy. I mean, he hit that thing quick, too, boy. Let's go, guys. I think I was recording. I stopped myself from recording. I don't know. But uh, anyways, we got this fish. We landed, little buddy. I mean, he cranked it pretty much. We're going to stay. I literally told myself, I said, if I catch a fish this cast, you know, I'm going to stay. But if I don't catch a fish this thing, what a problem is that, dude? But I literally said, you know, oh, well, no need for pliers, man. All right, guys. Second fish, man. I'm not sure if I got all that on camera. I think I was recording, and then I kind of stopped myself because I didn't have time to look. I was just trying to get that fish in, man. But came off, second fish, it came off a little express, uh, H2O express, little swim bait right here. I mean, they're just killing it to this size we're out for some big ends man they're definitely in here i know they're we're gonna keep grinding and we're gonna keep catching man and let's go ahead and get a last look at this little buddy right here there you go not a giant but hopefully we can get there man fish pump and we're out of here let's get the release on little buddy man see you bud oh man now let's throw it down you know go faster than slow it down so we always can do that We can kind of mix up our tree about halfway through anyway. Oh, hopefully we don't come over that. I think we did, we did. Because, you know, we did. Oh, you got him. Oh, he ran. Come here, boy. He's a little bit bigger. Listen to that drag, baby. Listen to that drag. Come here. Come on, real, baby. Third fish, man. Get in the boat. Get in the boat, baby. A little bit fatter. Let's go, man. Probably the same size. Never mind. Never mind. Let's go, man. Yeah, he grinded. Third fish. Probably the same length, but a little bit heavier. A little bit slight, a little bit bigger. We're going to let little buddy go and grow, man. See you, bud. I'm glad I was recording because I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a follow-up couple casts, you know, straight after catching that fish before i let my camera charge up a little bit while i fish and try to catch the hook set you know uh let's try right there on the corner on the left corner side dang it 
and we did not cast left on the side. Hopefully we don't get hung. Oh my goodness. Is that a fish? Oh, I think it's hung. All right, guys. So we're gonna try something real quick. I got another bait. This time I actually got a pink bait that I think should work. This color is pretty good. So I'm gonna suck a blue. This is uh, this color. What is this color? I think this color is considered blustery shad. I think I just got this in my most recent uh, mystery tackle box. But it pretty much just looks like a bait fish. But then again, we got this other one. It's perfect. This is a lunker hunt. I can't remember how deep this one dives. Okay, zero to two point zero to 2.5 feet which is perfect i think this one does two to five feet you definitely should have tied on this one but this one kind of looks like a little bluegill too got that orange got a little green got a little blue so that's perfect we're gonna try that guy next but we're gonna crank off this one first now this one's just getting too way what the heavens crap but if this one's getting way too much grass then we'll definitely switch up to that uh smaller one that one dives two to zero to two to five feet so that's perfect Well, I'm just trying to, oh, look at all these little, oh, look at, look at that, 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 Get up here, boy. Come on, boy. Get up here. On the crank, baby. On the crank. Trying to go for another bass. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. I am too high. Yo, man, that fish came off of this little crankbait. Literally saw a pile of bass. This just roaming by the bank. A bigger one. And I, kept, I was reeling in the bait as fast as I could, trying to get over to those fish. And they just got completely yoinked by this guy. And man, it was on by then, man. Let's go ahead and let this beauty go. We're gonna get on to the next fish, man. And I'll catch you guys then. All right, guys, let's let Buddy go. And we're gonna get on to it. I'm not sure where that big one went, but I guess with all that commotion that we had going on, she done ran. See you, bud. Back to the bottom. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. Boys, tied up on this little lunker hunt. Like I said, it dives zero to 2.5 feet. So not even th not even three feet. So that's perfect to uh, not be catching up in some of this grass right here. So let's see what we can get on with the good old lunker hunt. I'm not sure what the color is, but hopefully I can find out and I'll put it, pop it up on the screen right there for you guys. So let's see what the good old lunker hunt does, man. First cast, can we get a fish? You know, in general, can we catch a fish? Look at this baby. So just the hair, you know, just a little hair of grass that did get caught. It's now. Oh, we got one. We got one. We got one. Come on. Get in here, boy. Get in here, boy. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on, boy. You little chubby dude. Oh, we got a full one. Come here, boy. Get in the boat. Get up here, boy. Let's go. Look how he ate it, too. Both troubles, guys. That first fish and that last fish both even though those these are two different baits well excuse me there uh my guy but uh both fish eat this bait both baits twice that's how you know they want it when it comes to a crankbait when they're eating it both like that both hooks they, uh no it's not but let's let buddy go and let's get on some more see you bud <sighs> guys so we tighten this little screw right here with a little flathead screwdriver and uh let's get back to the action baby Wow, I can't believe you're actually cranking them out here on the dang thing. See, that sounds a whole lot better. It's not. It's still making a, you know, that noise, but you know, it ain't like. Just... All 
I don't know what noise it was making, but it was definitely making noise. Right oh, there it goes again. Never mind. Hopefully we can find another one. Man. That was just dope. Oh, shoot, we got another fish? Holy cow. I did not know we had another fish, dude. No wonder why I was making that noise. Get out of here, boy. Get in here, boy. Oh, we only got one hook this time. But well, we landed him. We successfully landed him. I did not know we had another fish. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, guys. There go. Another bass, man. Literally just cast it. Let's go, man. Let him go, man. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Let's keep cranking, baby. If they keep coming, let's keep cranking. On this little lunker hunt, crankbait. Out here just having a ball, man. Let's fix the screen. Alrighty, guys. So that completes the uh, video, man. We caught like, what, three fish on this little crankbait right here. Or we actually caught, yeah, I think we caught three on this one. Or maybe two on this one, then one on that other crankbait by sight baits, the blushing shad. And then we got this lunker hunt right here where we caught fish on this as well. And then as well, we caught fish on the the bluegill from uh, H2O Express. So basically Academy's brand. Um, so we caught fish on that, man. I am excited. I came out here trying to fish a whole different technique and that just did not work out this morning. So that was an epic failure. We decided to switch things up, go to something that I know these fish should eat and then it worked for us. We caught fish on that. And then as well, we ended up losing that. So we had to swap out to something else. We swapped to different bait fish. That didn't work and then we were about to give up and I said, you know what, I'm gonna try something else, just one more thing. That should work too as well, but I'm a little skeptical about it and I tried that crankbait and it just worked, man. But it was diving a little too deep, but it still caught us a fish now. So that was the crazy part. So we decided to switch up to a little bit same, more a little bit more same color or a little bit matching the hatch a little bit better, but dive a little bit more shallow and that would work pretty good for us. Um, but now the bite has died down a little bit. I definitely could still keep fishing. I'm sure I'll catch a fish eventually. But it's been about 30 minutes since the last fish. We're going to swap up and go to another pond and see if we can catch one right down the road right here. So we're going to go down there and see if we can catch one. But just in case, man, if I don't, this is it, man. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, guys. And as always, stay tuned to the channel. Peace, man. Ooh. Got one. Fighting hard. Come here. Oh, no. holy fudge. We just got the biggest fucking turtle ever. Oh, God. Oh, no, buddy. Let go. Let go. Let go. Holy fudge. Look at this, like, alligator turtle, dude. This dude is like, there you go. Thank you, buddy. Look what he did to my hook.